How's it going, everyone? Today, I'm going to teach you how to handle a snake. I know there's a bunch of videos out there to show you. This guy, he likes to explore. All you have to do is coax him. I let him do his thing. It's a little bracelet, right? Like I said, he likes to explore. And he'll literally just sit there and rest. Believe it or not, I'm actually holding his head right now. Barely. If I squeeze, or jerk. Apparently he's okay. Aren't you funny? Aren't you funny? See? You just jerk. You get away from me. Now you're staring right at me. You see he's in a curl position. If you see a snake do this, they're ready to strike. Best way to get rid of them out of that position is to turn them. Get right here where the loop's at and just barely touch them. Like, barely touch them. Eventually, they'll get out of that strike position. Like, he's getting jumpy, but it's okay. See? He's still a little nervous. It's cool though. You always want to grab the snake from behind where he's not looking. Especially if you want to alternate hands. Yes, he's being difficult. It's okay though. You just be real gentle with him. Boom. And my hand's free. Now he's free to roam around. This is Demi, by the way. He loves the camera. But what I like for him to do is for some reason, if you get him into the crease of your arm right here, He'll just massage it. See how I'm using the back of my hand? Then I'll roll. Let him do his thing. And you can even do that. See the gap between them? Do that with your hand. To help hold them. And he'll instantly become a brass knuckle. I think how cool that would be if you actually lunged at somebody with your snake and they struck them as they wrapped around your hand for brass knuckles. I would think that would be pretty cool. Especially if you can control a venomous snake the same way you control a restriction or a constrictor. But as you can see, he's really mellow, really laid back. <laughs> no, you don't need to be on the phone. 
Hi. Hi. Hey. Come back around. I remember people. Twist with the snake so you can get a better grip. <laughs> But anyways, just look at him. He loves to explore. And if I drop my hand, you just have to learn how to direct him with your fingers. I, yes, he does strike, uh, but that's only when he feels threatened, feels like he's going to get hurt. But believe it or not, this guy is a beast. He saw my hand and he ran away. Real quick, like, I want to get him. around that muscle on my arm where he can feel my heartbeat. Let's see if I can get him to do it. Come on. Come on, buddy. You gonna do it? Eh. He ain't doing it right now. Usually when I put him right there, He'll massage me. But this buddy loves to hide and climb. See? Hi! Point of the matter is, is move with your snake. And respect thy animal so they can respect you. Come on, I know you want to. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's see how gentle he is. Now he wasn't always like this. Most of the time when I when I first got him and I held on to him, he stayed into a ball. He is a ball python after all. But if you look, he's getting gradually more daring. Hi buddy. I'm letting him decide where he wants to go. See, he likes to go there sometimes. In between the armpit and the shirt. And what I usually do is I'll go like this. Nope, oh, well, he's coming back. I'm directing him. I'm letting him know where I want him to go. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Do what you want to do, buddy. Because all he likes to do is when you're holding him, is maneuver around now after he gets used to you. But I can just instantly got him right here. Boom. But now he's in striking position.
He's like, look at my spots. Look at me. I'm beautiful. And what I love about putting them up, which I'm about to do, because I had them out for a minute to play with them, to coerce them. All you have to do with him, put him up. Here's his enclosure. He's already ready to go. Oh, oh, you smell that rat. You smell that mouse. He smells it. Not quite yet, buddy. But you go in here. After he gets his bearings, and finds out where he's at. Uh, uh. You just go. He'll just go. And all you have to do is just lay your hand like that. And he will move. On his own. And just let him be. Clearly he's hungry. Clearly, he's hungry. He's hunting. He smells that mouse that I got here that I'm thawing out right now. Which I find hilarious that he's hungry because I literally just fed him yesterday. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to intend to make more content with me and Demi. I got a special customized shirt. I'm going to have come in. And it's going to say it's Demi time. <laughs> and we're going to feed him. Love him. And hopefully you guys. Can enjoy these uh, these videos. These episodes. But I also want to mention. What I find hilarious is. I got him at PetSmart. Everything you see that I got. Right here. I got all that from PetSmart. And he loves it. You look right on top of that rock. You can see him. He's just sitting there watching us. Oh, we got a yawn for the video. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Thank you, Demi. I swear to God, that snake likes to pose. But anyways, as I was saying, I got him from Pet Depot. Okay? And he was smaller than my pinky. And you just saw how big he was. He's almost, he's about that wide. From the size of my pinky when I got him to about that wide. Man, he's massive. But before we go, I'm going to show you guys a quick, quick thing. I want to show you how everything looks in the dark. Because I got a heat lamp for him. You don't necessarily have to use a heat lamp, but. Sometimes I like to turn it on and help him keep it warm at night. But this is how he looks with the light. Enjoy. I know you can see him there. He's perched. He's ready to go. He is ready to go. He is ready to take somebody on. He's going hunting now. So we'll leave him be for right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we'll let Damien go on his little hunting trip. Enjoy. And stay in tune for Demi Time.